So you want to make Minecraft look like this. You want shaders. And honestly, I don't blame you because shaders is one of the best Minecraft mods out there. Let's go ahead and install it. First things first, you want to go to this link. It's the second link in the description down below. And it's our in-depth guide on getting shaders, specifically Iris shaders. You may have heard of Optifine shaders. Every single Optifine shader works with Iris. And generally, Iris is more efficient and performs better than Optifine does with shaders. We also will have an Optifine shaders video coming up in the future, but it's not out yet. Only Iris shaders is updated to Minecraft 1.20.5. So that's why we're going to be going ahead and doing Iris shaders as well. Once you're here, what you want to do is scroll down and click on the Download Iris Shaders button to be taken to the official Iris Shaders download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar link, and it will go ahead and start downloading Iris Shaders right like so. You may need to keep or save this file. It's 100% safe to do that. Millions of people have downloaded Iris Shaders using our guides in this exact link. Now, you will also need to download a shader pack, and... There are tons of different shaders pack out there. And like I said, any shaders packs that works with Optifine will work with Iris shaders. Let's go ahead and grab BSL shaders and make up ultra fast. Those are two of my favorites. We'll also grab a simpler shaders pack, vanilla plus shaders, amazing pack, but a little more resource friendly, if you will, in comparison to other packs. Now with all these selected, we have a few different download options here. We have BitsLab, which is completely different than, you know, CurseForge or something like that. Once you're here, you'll select BSL shaders, and then you will scroll down and select where you want to download these, or excuse me, you'll select here and then scroll down and select where you want to download these. We're actually going to download via Modrant. There's typically two primary places you'll get shaders packs. One is Modrant and the other is CurseForge. For Modern Shaders Packs, you'll come over here and go to Versions, and then you'll select a version you want. Any 1.20.4 Shader Pack is going to generally work in 1.20.5 without issues. And by the way, even Shaders Packs as far back as 1.7.10 can a lot of times work in newer versions. So feel free to try Shaders Pack. If it doesn't work, you can always uninstall it. Click the green download button next to BSL Shaders, click download, and there you go. While it's downloading, how about a from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out and get your server running how you want it. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we have now downloaded BSL shaders. We'll go ahead and grab a Curse Forge shaders pack here and make up ultra fast. Go to files, and again, any 1.20 version is going to work, and even older versions, 1.12.0 two for this case will work. Click the three downloads, click download file, and this will begin downloading. Once that's finished, we can go ahead and do the same with vanilla plus shaders, files, download the 1.20 version, and click download file. No reason to overcomplicate it. It's quick. It's easy to get these shaders packs, and feel free to install as many as you want. You can switch between them in-game and kind of get a feel for all these different types of shaders. Nevertheless, what we want to do now is move everything to our desktop. So for me, it's going to be in my downloads folder here. You can see vanilla plus, makeup ultra fast, BSL, and iris, drag and drop, all of these to our desktop here. Now, they might not be in your downloads folder, but they'll be wherever files typically download for you. Now, what we want to do is open up this Iris installer file. To do that, you want to right click on it, click on open with, select Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you do? What if you click OK and it doesn't open? Well, that's because the version of Java that you need for Minecraft has changed. You don't need Java 17 anymore. You need Java 21 for versions 1.0. 20.5 of Minecraft and higher, you need Java 21. So that's why this is so important. There's a link in the description down below to go here and get Java up and running. We've got the link to Java 21 here. Get it installed. The in-depth text guide. The video guide is the same for Java 17 and Java 21, so don't worry about that. But here you go. You can get Java 21 and get it installed. After you get Java 21, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files like Iris and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, download Java 21 and then run the jar fix. And then you'll be able to open this by right-clicking, clicking Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. Now, this is the Iris installer. And all you've got to do here is select 1.20.5. Five, click Iris and click install. Boom. There you go. It, it, it's installed that quick and that easy to get it installed and running. As you can see, completed. Boom. Now what we want to do is close out of this and open up the Minecraft launcher. And in the Minecraft launcher, we will now have an Iris installation. If we don't, for whatever reason, I'll show you how to get one. 
but we should have one, to be honest with you. And we will have one here because, well, I've never seen us not have one. There it is. Iris and sodium for 1.20.5. Click the little arrow here and select it if you don't have it. Once you've got that, you can click play and click play again. If you don't have it though, what you want to do is come here to installations. Then create a new installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting. Dot com because that's the easiest way to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends. Then click the version drop down box. In here, you want to select Release Iris Fabric Loader. So Release Iris Fabric Loader, and then make sure it's for the 1.20.5 version. Then I'm going to set my resolution so you can see better once we get in game and click Create. Now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com profile that most importantly is Iris Fabric Loader. But if you created a profile and it's still not there, make sure Mod is checked in the top right. As you can see, if I deselect that, Iris disappears altogether, including the one that was there by default. So make sure that's checked, and then you can click play and click play again on your Iris installation. Now at this point, Minecraft's going to open up. Iris Shaders is installed, or the Iris Shaders mods installed, but your shaders packs aren't. So by default, you won't have any shader packs installed, and you need to install them to actually use shaders. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. You, what we want to do is go ahead and go into options and then video settings and then shader packs. Let me do that again because it was kind of fast. From the main menu, click on options, video settings, and then this shader packs button up here at the top. Then what you want to do is go ahead and click on the open shader pack folder button kind of in the bottom left hand of the screen. Then drag and drop from your desktop all of the shader packs you downloaded. So BSL shaders, Makeup Ultra Fast, Vanilla Plus, any other shader packs you want to install, drag and drop them into this shader packs folder. Now it's kind of cool because uh, you can't see in the background, but as soon as we close out of this, there are all of our shaders packs. They instantly popped in game and look truly amazing. So go ahead and select whichever one you want. Let's go ahead and start off with BSL shaders by clicking on it like so and clicking apply. That'll turn it yellow, showing that it is now active. And if we go into shader pack settings here, we can actually change a lot of different stuff about this shader pack. For example, you know what the different profile is for it, the different lighting. You can customize this so, so much and go really in depth with it. And that's true with a lot of shader packs as well. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump in game to show you this is working. Of course, we use it on a simple game hosting server here because it's just the best way to play Minecraft in my opinion. And once we're in game, it's actually pretty easy to switch shaders packs and test them out live instead of having to just kind of guess like what do these look like. But here is BSL Shaders. Truly amazing. One of my favorite shaders packs, honestly, kind of ever. Um, it, it, top five list for sure, if not the top two or three shaders packs. And uh, yeah, but what if we want to try another one? Well, we can go into Escape, Options, Video Settings, and Shader Packs, and then we can select another one. Makeup Ultra Fast, for example. Click Apply. It'll reload in the background, and you can actually see how it changed. It's a bit difficult to see, but you can see that there's different stuff going on in the background. We can change our shader pack settings if we want. For example, we can go ahead and set this one to the high setting if we really wanted to pump it to the next level. And there we go. We can now see that this one is installed. A very, very different look. And you can see the difference in shaders packs between just these two packs. Very, very good to be able to see those differences. And then last but not least, this one's not even going to really look like shaders. It's like vanilla with some light shading. And that is vanilla plus shaders. It's kind of how it's designed. It's not really designed to have a ton of shading, but you can see here there is some shaders going on. The grass is waving slightly, but nowhere near as aggressive as Makeup Ultra Fast or BSL shaders. And with that, you now know how to add shaders to Minecraft 1.20.5. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.